Hey guys, Adi here. Right in front of me, I have the uh, Moto 360 running the brand new Android Lollipop update for the Android Wear. Uh, lots of fun stuff, lots of new features. Uh, watch faces are now official. And uh, I just want to give you guys a first look and a tour of the new Android Lollipop update in your Android Wear smartwatch. So without wasting any further time, uh, let's check out the new features. So before I jump into the new features, I just want to want to show you guys the uh, Android version that is running. That is the uh, and uh, 5.0.1 uh, with the build number of LWX48D. So now that I got that out of the way, let's check out the new features. So the first feature that I wanted to show you guys was in the was the notification. So uh, before the Android Lollipop update, you just can see the battery percentage and the mute unmute button on the uh, notification pull down. But now, uh, when you guys pull down the notification, there are a couple of more options available from the notification. So, uh, if you guys are running the Lollipop update on your smartphone, then you will get a couple of more options that is the priority only, the none, and the mute option on your notification but unfortunately i'm still running the kitkat on my smartphone so i just get the mute option here so the next one on the list is the theater mode uh, when you select the when you select the theater mode the screen completely turns black uh, and it stays like that no matter uh, what notification you get on your phone so this is really useful when you're watching a movie uh, and you don't want to disturb the person who's sitting near you when your screen wakes up for every notification that you get. So to turn your screen back on, you just press the button on the side uh, for the Moto 360 and this potentially uh, changes depending on the smartwatch, uh, depending on the smartwatch that you use uh, for Moto 360, uh, you have to press the button on the side. So that's the theater mode. And next one here is the sunlight mode. Uh, this does nothing more than just blasting the screen brightness to full and making you blind. This is really useful. Uh, let's say when you are going out in direct sunlight, uh, it will help you read your notifications or just check the time on the watch uh, much more easy. And uh, the last one here is the shortcut to the settings. Uh, this was one option that I very badly wanted in Android Wear uh, because before the Android Lollipop update, if you guys wanted to go into the settings, you have to single tap and then go all the way down into the settings. Uh, this was a much uh, tougher way or just let's say a not so easy way to go into the settings. But now uh, after the Android Lollipop update, just like in your Android smartphone, you just pull down the notification and you can get this shortcut for the settings. Uh, these are the new features that's been added to the notification. Uh, the next feature that I wanted to talk to you guys about is when you single tap, you used to get the speak now button and then a list of items. Uh, which never changes, uh, it just always stays constant. But now it changes depending on the recently used app on the list. So now recently I used the settings app. Uh, so now you get the settings at the top. And before that I was checking my alarms in the agenda for today. So this changes uh, depending on the recently used app. So it's just like a recently used app menu that keeps changing constantly. So let's say I select my show my heart rate and now when I single tap, the show my heart rate option or the menu is at the top. So this is more like a recently used app kind of a list now. And you can find rest of the things as you can scroll down all the way. Uh, this is one of the feature that has been added to the Android Lollipop update. Uh, the next feature is one that I always so badly wanted in the Android Wear uh, operating system that has to do with the uh, dismissing the cards or the dismissing the notifications on your Android smartwatch. Uh, so before, when you dismiss a notification, there was no way to get it back. It's gone. But now, when you dismiss a notification and you pull down, you can undo it and bring back the notification. This was one feature that I so badly wanted because sometimes uh, we just dismiss a notification by mistake, but you wanted to bring it back, but you couldn't do that. But now you can do that by doing, by just pulling down after not dismissing a notification. Uh, this is a bit tricky because if you guys have more than one notification and you dismiss it, you have to pull from the top. 
but let's say if you guys just have one notification and when you dismiss it you have to pull from the bottom to undo it so this was a bit tricky to figure it out but uh, it just uh, as simple as I'm saying so if you have more than one notification you pull from the top when you dismiss it and you want to undo it but when you have just one notification and you dismiss it you pull from the bottom to undo it this is the feature that I really wanted in the previous version of Android Wear but now it's been added in the uh, Android Lollipop update one more option is now uh, you can just block any app directly from the smartwatch itself you don't have to go into the android wear uh, app on your smartphone and then block the applications that you want to block you can directly block it from the android smartwatch itself and the next new feature that i wanted to talk to you guys about is the watch faces so now uh, google has released the watch face api so now watch faces are official and you can download it directly from the google play store so uh, there are lots of new watch faces being added uh, as you guys can see uh, lots of new fantastic and exciting watch faces have been added to the Android uh, Sorry to the Google Play Store. So uh, let me show you guys the new options that have been added to the Android Wear app on your smartwatch So let's check out the new options that's been added to the Android Wear app uh, on your smartphone so before I jump into the watch faces I just want to show you guys the settings uh, so the new options that's been added in the Android Wear options is the tilt wake screen the watch battery and the watch storage uh, so when you select the tilt wake screen uh, your watch uh, screen wakes up when you tilt your wrist uh, so before there was no way to turn it off but now uh, you can turn it on or off by selecting or deselecting it and now you can check the watch battery directly from the Android Wear app on your smartphone to see which app is uh, drinking all your battery and you can also check the watch storage to see how much uh, storage is left on your smartwatch and uh, delete all the unwanted apps and uh, the remaining options are all the same so these are just a couple of uh, options that was been added in the Android Wear update recently and uh, the new section here is the watch faces section and this section just magically appears when you uh, update your android wear smartwatch and i'm not joking guys it literally just magically appears uh, you just have to update your android wear smartwatch and then connect it to your smartphone and then open the android wear app on your smartphone and this section magically appears so as i said before uh, the smart watch faces or the watch faces are official and you can just directly download it from the google play store uh, as always you have paid watch faces and free watch faces so and there are a lot of new fantastic watch faces that's been added to the android play store and to change a watch face uh, you just you just click on any watch face here and it gets updated on your android uh, smart watch so let me get this into focus so it just gets directly updated on your android smart watch so that's it guys that's the that's a quick look of the new features that's been added added to the android uh, lollipop update and as always guys uh, thank you for watching uh, hit the like button subscribe and share the video if you guys enjoy it and if you guys are interested in the android smartwatch that i'm using or the phone that i'm currently using in this video you can check the link in the description and uh, as always guys thank you for watching i really appreciate it and uh, subscribe lots more content coming and uh, that's it for this video until next time this is adi here signing off